exciting. Our match today is Wolverhampton Wanderers against Fleetwood Town. It's a debut for the new forward today. Yeah, and with that comes a little bit of pressure because everyone is expecting you to score the goals. The fans are, I think. It is the semi-final of the English League Cup, and it's underway. Yes, yeah, so much talk, and uh, so much talk by the players. Now's the time for action for those lads. And, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Well defended, not just getting across. He's got his shot off now. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. That's score! And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Corner played in. Dempsey! He's got his fingertips to it, and it's over the bar. And the ball's gone out for a corner. Corner swung in. That's quite a comfortable save, really. Corner's taken. There's a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. It's a corner coming out yet again. In goes the corner. Cleared away by the defender. Here's the chance. Threw everything behind that shot. And frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. Two minutes of added time. They might have played him in here. Got a space for him. Now out on the wing. The shot's up. Hit the post. Put into the middle. Oh, that's good defending. Half-time whistle goes in the second leg of the semi-final. Well, they can almost touch that final now. Going to be treacherous conditions in this second half because the rain is still coming down and the pitch is getting wetter and wetter. There's good progress with this attack. A good run towards the near post. He must have thought he'd scored... From that distance, the keeper had other ideas. Difficult decision for the officials here, but it is... That's a good spot by the defender. Guiding it through the defenders. Opportunity now! Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Not really away from the threat here. Trying to get the ball in behind. And a try one now! Clean through. One-on-one on one against the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a wonderful stop, Martin, isn't it? And uh, no bits and pieces either to follow up on. Well, here comes the corner. He's just put it off target, just wide of that post. Well, his teammates were convinced he was going to score there. Well, he's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. He's coming forward with some danger. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. semi-final over the two legs and they are through they've made it looking forward to this the papers have been full of it this week and i hope we're not disappointed our match today is wolverhampton wanderers against west ham united a couple of exceptional talents in a really good game that we might be focusing on well i think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence Brimming, really, because uh, they really have played well. They've uh, led from the front. Just concentrating on a clean sheet. Ball on the centre spot. And that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early. Room now out of the wing. Off the bar. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Goalkeepers love to be busy, and he's certainly busy at the Set moment. Team down and get the ball upfield. Well, if you hit the post or bar, you've not hit the target. Must take the lead here. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Read the play. He's got his shot off now. The goalkeeper with a textbook save. 
and keeps the ball in his grasp. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. He's awarded the free kick. Change of plan, gone short. Pineda. Obiang. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half of this game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, interesting to uh, know what the two managers. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. To put them in front. Well, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And well, that's gone behind for a the injured player. will have to go off. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. That is a terrific header. Unlucky it's just off target. They generated some power on it, and the keeper wasn't getting there. Corner swung in. Well rehearsed flick. Whipped in from the wide area. A goal after dominating the play. They would be wondering whether they would ever find a way through. But they have done. It was a good goal. Good build-up. Fine finish. And now maybe they'll go on to take this game by the scruff of its neck. Looking good with attacking play like this and this goal. Well, I think he's picked him out from that left-hand side. Wonderful delivery. Really accurate cross. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. Obiang. Diop. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. And time for the defender to clear the cross. Well, they're looking for yet another goal from the corner. In goes the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Here's Jota. The shot's on! That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. And that's the end of the game, and it's 1 0. Well, in... Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set? Yeah! Have an extra factor to it the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes if you're on your toes. It's one or two goals about for strikers. If we're looking for energy in midfield, which I think the manager is, from what we've been talking to him about, and uh, a new signing today with that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I thought they'd looked a bit short, a bit flat, actually, in midfield previously, and he is a creative player as well. Well, this should be a great game, and we're off and running. strong looking to Lanzini back out of the bar trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation shot off goal Manchester United open the scoring here they've been doing all of the pushing what a good finish a goal from Lukaku and what a finish this was really did put his boot through it to find the left hand side It's Manchester United in the lead. Lanzini. Not a good challenge by the defense. Well, this could bring them level. And it does. Important point in the game. Well, what a game changer that might be. And I think the momentum's just shifted. Well, take another look at this, Alan Smith. You'd have been proud of this one. Well, he timed the jump and he timed the header perfectly. A wonderful example of... How to head the ball. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Lukaku to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. Can really get at the opposition here. Lukaku! Well, he really hit that hard and true, Romelu Lukaku, and gets full value for the strike.
certainly took it with great aplomb. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Well, Wolves need to find some fight because they're behind. Goal for Manchester United. That's a team that can really hurt you with the number of passes that they play. There will be a minimum of two minutes and it's time. In with a chance. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. He followed his instincts, he followed the play in, and then he followed watching the ball into the net. Yeah, a lesson for any schoolboy just to make sure you follow shots in, that you're in that danger area. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Lanzini. Well, that's half-time, and 3-1 is the score at the break. Manchester United with the second half now underway, and they are leading. Superb shimmy then, probing the pass. A try one now, and he scores spectacularly. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Well, plenty of goals here today, 3-2. Just a quick check -up. And shoots! Let's see what sort of system they use to defend the corner. Corner three! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable than their good value for this advantage at the moment. That's top quality, no doubt about it. Well, nothing wrong with the service and certainly nothing wrong with that finish. Prospect of even more goals, 4-2 is the score. Goal for Manchester United, number four, Jonathan Tapp. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but superb save. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. That is a fantastic goal. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned out, Marty, but uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. the word on the goal scorer you have to get there to get the chance and credit him for that well i think the keeper you know he's entitled to ask why his defenders didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer he'd done his bit he'd made the initial save there's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game but nothing falls anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene They've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. There's the final whistle, and it's a win here for Manchester United. This is an area Alan knows only too well, Alan Smith, who is with me for commentary today. Well, they're very close to each other, just north of the city of Birmingham, Wolverhampton Wanderers and West Bromwich Albion. For these fans, this is everything. It is a good old black country derby, and uh, it's great to see them coming head to head here. Front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. That's a turnover of possession here. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. To put them in front, powerful drive, close enough to suggest have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. 
Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Taking on the defenders. A great chance to go in front. That was a puff out your cheeks. Wolves have gone and won it back again. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Going for goal! Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining. And as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. The side that has the form, and indeed you would think the better players, are doing well at the moment. They've got a goal and they're beginning to boss proceedings. Yeah, they're moving the ball about better, Martin. Certainly getting good we're delivery in from those wide areas. The much stronger side. Referee has indicated Excellent interception. Of two minutes of added time. Kenny. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. Tough test this for the players in the second half and the referee as well, who might have a big decision to make. At the moment, he says we can play on, but that might be his bad. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. They've pulled it back level with this goal. If you thought that the favoured team scoring would kill them off, you'd be wrong. They've roared again. Yeah, and it's great to see, isn't it, a team like this stick together and really get the, the very best out of the players. So, away we go at one all. This with a chance to go into the lead now. And that's gone for a corner for West Brom. Here. Can put them in front here. Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining. And as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. Just looking at that deflection, of course, defenders do get attracted to the ball. He might have been better just letting it go. Yeah, there's an argument to say that. I think the goalkeeper behind him is actually getting that point across now. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. Here's Andreas Pereira. It's a good press from the team that have won the ball here. Hegazi could get the ball into the box now. Wolverhampton Wanderers celebrate at the final whistle, celebrate their victory.